Hello students, this is part 2 of chapter number 1, Reproduction in Organisms. In this video, we will cover the events or stages in sexual reproduction. There are three events in sexual reproduction, one pre-fertilization, two fertilization and three post-fertilization. Pre-fertilization is further divided into two parts, gametogenesis and gamete transfer. Let us study them one by one in this video. Pre-fertilization events, what are they? The events prior to the fusion of gametes. Gametes ke fusion se pehle jitne bhi events hote hain, they come under pre-fertilization events and they include A. Gametogenesis and B. Gamete transfer. Let us start with gametogenesis. What is gametogenesis? It is the formation of male and female gametes. During sexual reproduction, two types of gametes are formed. They are male gametes and female gametes and the process of the formation of these gametes is called as gametogenesis. Gametes are of two types. Actually, gametes are haploid cells. You can see here, gametes are haploid cells means they have got the n number of chromosomes. It is the half of their parent cell. If the parent cell is having 2n number of chromosomes, then the gametes will have n number of chromosomes. Gametes are of two types. One, homogametes or isogametes and two, heterogametes. Now, let us see what are homogametes or isogametes. Similar gametes. Isogametes are similar gametes. They cannot categorize into male and female gametes. Example, some algae like cladophora have got homogametes. You can see here in the diagram A. This is the diagram A. They are homogametes. They are similar gametes found in cladophora. Now, what are heterogametes? The male and female gametes are distinct types. They are different types. Male gametes are called as anthrozoid or sperms and female gametes are called as egg or the ovum. You can see the example of heterogametes of fucus and algae in diagram B. This is the female gamete and this is the male gamete. They are different. And also see the diagram number C, heterogametes of homo sapiens. This is the egg. These are the sperms. So, male and female gametes are different from each other. So, example of heterogametes are fucus and alga and human beings etc. Let us see the sexuality in organism, whether the organism is bisexual or unisexual. First of all, let us see what are bisexual organisms. If both male and female reproductive structures are present in the same individual, then the individual is called as bisexual. Means single individual is having both the sex organs, male sex organ as well as female sex organ, then the individual is bisexual. Bisexual plants ke example dekhi, hibiscus and pisum. This is hibiscus, this is pisum. They are having both male as well as female reproductive structure, stamen as well as pistil, both are present. So, they are bisexual plants. In flowering plants, male flower is staminate. If the flower is having only stamen, then the flower is called as staminate, means it bears only stamens. And female flower, if the flower is having only pistil, then it is called as pistillate, means it bears only pistil. Next, if male and female flowers are present in the same plant, agar ek hi plant mein male flower bhi hai, female flower bhi hai, then the plant is called as monoecious. Example of monoecious plants are cucurbits, coconuts and also you can see the diagram number C, cara. It is also a monoecious plant having both sex organs present, ugonium and anthridium. Both are present in the same individual, so it is a monoecious plant. Now see the example of bisexual animals. They are also called as hermaphrodites, earthworms, leech, sponge, tapeworm. 
these are some bisexual animals you can see the diagram number a it is earthworm having both sex organs testes and ovaries present in the same individual it is also called as hermaphrodites clear let us see what are unisexual individuals male and female reproductive structures are present on different individuals then they are called as unisexual means one individual is having only male sex organ and other individual is having only female sex organ then they are called as unisexual individuals come to plants if male and female flowers are present on different plants then the plant is called as dioecious for example papaya and date palm you can see here this is papaya one tree is having only the male flower and other is having only the female flowers so it is called as dioecious plant now see the example of unisexual animals examples are cockroach and higher animals see here diagram number b cockroach dekhiye this is the male cockroach having only testes this is the female cockroach only having ovaries so it is the example of unisexual animals come to fungi fungi may be homothelic means bisexual or is heterothelic means unisexual see the heterothelic fungi here this is the female thallus this is the male thallus having the female sex organs and the male sex organs so these are the examples of unisexual organism how the gamete formation take place in the organism it take place by cell division so what type of cell division is taking place in the organism to form the gametes many monoreans fungi algae and bryophytes they are haploid means their parental body is haploid means they are having half the number of chromosomes so they produce haploid gamete only by the simple mitosis clear now next pteridophytes gymnosperms angiosperms and animals they have got the diploid parental body means parents body is having the diploid number of chromosome double the number of chromosome so they produce haploid gamete by the meiosis of meiocytes what are meiocytes meiocytes are the gamete mother cell in which the meiosis takes place and the gametes are formed clear now you can see the table here these are the number of chromosome present in the meiocyte of human beings house fly rat etc and these are the number of chromosome present in their gametes if the number of chromosomes in the meiocytes are 46 then the number of chromosome in the gametes are 23 you can see here fruit fly if the number of chromosome in the meiocytes are 8 then the number of chromosome in the gametes are 4 you can see in the onion if the number of chromosomes in the meiocytes are 16 then the number of chromosomes in the gametes are 8 so gametes are haploid cells clear after gametogenesis gamete transfer takes place in pre fertilization events what is this how it take place male gametes need a medium to move towards female gametes for fertilization means for fertilization male gametes have to move towards the female gametes and for this they need the medium in most organisms male gamete is motile means male gamete can move and the female gamete is stationary means female gamete cannot move in most of the organisms in some fungi and algae both types of gametes are motile means both male as well as female gamete can move towards each other in some fungi and algae so you can find the variation in the male and female gametes in different organisms now in some plants like algae bryophytes pteridophytes gamete transfer take place through water medium means water is used as a medium for transfer of gametes in simple plants to compensate the loss of male gametes during transport kyunki transport ke dauran bahut sare male gametes ka loss ho jata hai to compensate this loss large number of male gametes is produced bahut sare male gametes produce hote hain taki jo loss ho raha hai usko compensate kar sake 
नाउ इन सीड प्लांट्स पॉलन ग्रेन्स जो कि प्रेजेंट होते हैं एंथस में दे कैरी मेल गेमीट्स सो पॉलन ग्रेन्स आर द कैरियर्स ऑफ मेल गेमीट्स एंड ओव्यूल कैरीज द एग एंड पॉलन ग्रेन्स आर ट्रांसफर्ड टू द स्टिग्मा यू कैन सी हेयर दीज आर द पॉलन ग्रेन्स ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम स्टेमन टू द पिस्टिल ऑफ द फ्लॉर एंड दिस ट्रांसफर ऑफ पॉलन ग्रेन्स फ्रॉम स्टेमन टू द पिस्टिल ऑफ द फ्लॉर इज कॉल्ड एज पॉलीनेशन लेट इज सी हाउ द ट्रांसफर ऑफ पॉलन ग्रेन्स टेक्स प्लेस इन प्लांट्स इन बाइसेक्शुअल सेल्फ फर्टिलाइजिंग प्लांट्स लाइक पीस एंथर्स एंड स्टिग्मा आर क्लोज टू ईच अदर यू कैन सी हेयर द एंथर्स एंड स्टिग्मा बोथ आर प्रेजेंट इन द सेम फ्लॉर दे आर वेरी क्लोज टू ईच अदर सो द ट्रांसफर ऑफ पॉलोग्रेन टेक्स प्लेस फ्रॉम एंथर टू द स्टिग्मा ऑफ द सेम फ्लॉर सच टाइप ऑफ पॉलिनेशन इज कॉल्ड एज सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन एंड दिस ट्रांसफर ऑफ पॉलोग्रेन इज वेरी ईजी बट इन क्रॉस पॉलिनेटिंग प्लांट्स इंक्लूडिंग डायोशियस प्लांट्स पॉलिनेशन हेल्प्स इन ट्रांसफर ऑफ पॉलन ग्रेन्स हेयर वी रिक्वायर सर्टिन एजेंट्स टू ट्रांसफर द पॉलन ग्रेन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी हेयर इंसेक्ट इज टेकिंग द पॉलन ग्रेन्स फ्रॉम स्टेम ऑफ वन फ्लॉर टू द पिस्टल ऑफ द अदर फ्लॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ पॉलिनेशन इज कॉल्ड एज क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन नेक्स्ट पॉलन ग्रेन्स जर्मिनेट ऑन स्टिग्मा अब पॉलन ग्रेन स्टिग्मा के ऊपर जर्मिनेट करेंगे और पॉलन ट्यूब डेवलप करेंगे एंड दिस पॉलन ट्यूब्स कैरी मेल गेमिट्स एंड रीच टू द ओव्यूल ये पॉलन ट्यूब के अंदर मेल गेमिट्स होंगे और वो ओव्यूल तक पहुंच जाएंगे देयर दीज मेल गेमिट्स आर डिस्चार्ज नियर द एग ओके बट इन डायोशियस एनिमल्स एज बोथ मेल एंड फीमेल गेमिट्स आर फॉर्म इन डिफरेंट इंडिविजुअल्स ऑर्गेनिजम्स मस्ट इवॉल्व a special mechanism for gamete transfer next event is fertilization or syngamy what is this it is the fusion of gametes and to form a diploid zygote you can see after fertilization after the fusion of female gamete with the male gamete zygote is formed and this is called as syngamy in rotifers honey bees some lizards and birds like turkey female gametes develops to new organisms without fertilization such type of formation of new organisms without fertilization is called as parthenogenesis for example you can see here honey bees ka example yahan par diya gaya hai honey bees mein females are diploid while the males are haploid if the honey bee's diploid female is producing eggs and this egg directly develop into the individual then the male honey bees are formed but if the eggs are fertilized with the sperms then the individual forms is diploid females so here you can see this is the parthenogenesis here no fertilization is taking place and new individual is formed and this new individual is male in case of honey bees let us see the types of fertilization first external fertilization what is this here syngamy or fusion of male and female gametes occurs in the external medium like water and zygote is formed outside the body of female such type of fertilization is called as external fertilization this is found in most of the aquatic organisms like many algae and bony fishes and also it is found in amphibians so these organisms show external fertilization such organisms show synchrony between the sexes means male and female sexes are very much synchronized female fish here you can see produce large number of eggs and male produce large number of sperms at one time in water and the release of large number of gametes into the surrounding medium is there to ensure syngamy taki definitely syngamy ho sake isliye they produce large number of gametes but there is disadvantage of external fertilization the offsprings are extremely vulnerable to predators 
and threatening their survival up to the adulthood. Okay. Next is internal fertilization. Here, syngamy or fusion of male gamete with the female gamete occurs inside the body of organism. For example, in case of terrestrial organisms belonging to fungi, animals like reptiles, birds, mammals and plants like bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and endosperms, the fertilization takes place inside the body of organism. In this, non-motile egg means female gamete is non-motile and it is formed inside the female body to where motile male gamete reaches and fuses. So, male gamete reaches to female gamete and fuse and form the zygote. In seed plants, the non-motile male gametes are carried to female gamete by pollen tube. This I have already told you that pollen grains fall on stigma. There they form the pollen tube. Inside the pollen tube, two male gametes are present and then this pollen tube takes these male gametes to the ovule. Clear? There is a large number of sperms produced but the number of eggs is very low in case of organism where the internal fertilization takes place. Now, last stage of sexual reproduction, post fertilization events. These are the events after the formation of zygote. As you know, zygote is formed when male gamete fuses with the female gamete and changes takes place in zygote to form the new individual. All these changes are called as post fertilization events. Development of zygote depends on the type of life cycle of the organism and the nature of environment. In fungi and algae, zygote develops a thick wall that is resistant to desiccation and damage. Zygote ke charo taraf ek thick wall ban jati hai, jo usko desiccation or damage se bachati hai. So, it undergoes a period of rest before germination. Clear? Let us see what happens to zygote in different organisms. In organisms with haplontic life cycle, means life cycle where the parent body is haploid. In this case, zygote divides by meiosis into haploid spores, clear? And that grow into haploid individuals, means zygote may meiosis hoga, haploid spores banenge, or ye haploid spores new individuals ko banayenge. While in other cases, sexually reproducing organisms, they begin life as a zygote. Here, zygote directly convert into new individual because in this case, the parent body is deployed. Clear? So, zygote is the vital link between organisms of one generation and the next. Development of zygote into embryo is called as embryogenesis. During embryogenesis, what happens? Zygote undergoes cell division by mitosis and cell differentiation. What happens due to cell division? Cell divisions increase the number of cells in the embryo. You can see here, this is zygote. It divides into two cell stage, then four cell stage, then eight cell stage, then the group of cells together they form the morula stage. In this way, the number of cells increase in the embryo. After this, the cell differentiation takes place. It causes modifications of group of cells into various tissues and organs to form an organism. So, in these cells, differentiation takes place. Different cells, they start forming different tissues, different organs and ultimately they form an organism. Based on place of zygote development, animals are of two types, oviparous and viviparous. Oviparous animals. Here, animals lay fertilized or unfertilized eggs, means they are egg-laying animals. Egg-laying animals are called as oviparous. For example, in reptiles and birds, 
द फर्टिलाइज एग्स कवर्ड बाय हार्ड कैलकेरियस शेल आर लेट इन अ सेफ प्लेस एंड आफ्टर इंक्यूबेशन यंग वंस हैच आउट फ्रॉम दीज एग्स वीवी पेरस एनिमल्स हेयर द जाइगोट डेवलप्स इन टू यंग वंस इन साइड द फीमेल बॉडी लेटर द यंग वंस आर डिलीवर्ड आउट ऑफ द बॉडी फॉर एग्जाम्पल मोस्ट ऑफ द मेमल्स आर वी वी पेरस दे गिव बर्थ टू द यंग वंस यू कैन सी हेयर डॉग इज अ वी वी पेरस एनिमल गिविंग बर्थ टू यंग वन बिकॉज ऑफ प्रॉपर केयर एंड प्रोटेक्शन द चांसेस ऑफ सर्वाइवल ऑफ यंग वंस आर ग्रेटर इन द वी वी पेरस एनिमल्स सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर स्टेइंग विद मी सब्सक्राइब द चैनल टू गेट द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट माई न्यू वीडियो थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच